Let's see. So this is Kata from Mint Nvidia at E3, showing us some Checker 3. Well, what do you have here? You can tell me. Man, <laughs> you know, we're, we're really excited here at E3 um, with the introduction of Tegra 3. It's inspired developers around the world to make some awesome content in games that everyone's going to be able to deliver. You know that the Transformer Prime was first uh, introduced in December as the first uh, Tegra 3 device. And in a short period of time, we have over 15 awesome Tegra 3 games, five of which are new here at E3. Um, if you want to check it out, Absolutely. Uh, big introduction at E3 here is a game called Dead Trigger. Um, I'm sure a lot of your readers have played Samurai 2 or uh, Shadow Gun, and we're pretty much floored by how next-gen console-ish the experience was. This is called Dead Trigger. I mean, look at this. You got dynamic smoke all over the place. You have particles, and I mean, look look at the NVIDIA logo right here. <laughs> um, so, the wrong button. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is a you know a zombie fighting game. You'll notice, I mean, the blood, the particles, the, the realistic simulation of the water. Um, you know, the ashes, the the um, you know the smoke. Everything is just. It takes Shadow Gun to a whole new level. Um, the Mad Finger guys, the developer of this game, really kind of learned the nooks and crannies of what makes Tegra 3 special and really apply their experience of uh, Shadowgun into this game. Uh, it'll be due out very shortly this summer, and uh, I think you know your, guys, your readers will really look forward to it. Uh, another one here, you know, with the recent release of Diablo, um, everyone's getting back into the isometric view RPG type of game. This is a game called um, uh, Heroes Call. And we'll show it on this outputting of the HDMI to this big screen. It's tap, tap, tap. It's really high quality, full dynamic lighting, high quality textures. But most importantly, it's a hell of fun. <laughs> and so, you know, you'll go, we're kind of in a dead area, but you'll, we'll encounter some baddies right here in a second. So man, someone really cleaned up here. Um, let's see here. So this will be uh, out in a, in a few weeks. Um, and this is running on Android? This is on a, on a Transformer Prime, okay. Tegra 3 base, of course. And, um, you know, the Tegra 3 version is going to have more enemies. It'll have things like the fire and dynamic smoke. Um, you see the, the cloth yeah. on the guy's cape kind of flutters very realistically. Um, when you, for instance, take out a skeleton uh, uh, guy, There'll be mo more bones that kind of shatter through the winds, and well, let's well these guys aren't exactly it, but let's let's have a let's show them a little melee here. But as you can see, it's it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's simple to play, but there's a lot that goes into it. You know, just managing inventory, getting the right weapons, leveling up, uh, finding all kinds of uh, you know fun things. So this is truly you know, PC and console class um, quality gaming. There's a little spider here that we're gonna go hack. So yeah, this is Heroes Call, brand new, uh, available on Tegra. Here's a final one uh, called Eden to Green. This is uh, kind of a tower defense game where you you have to defend your turf. You're the good guy, and then the bad guys have uh, captured the tree. That's the key to the life in this world. Um, these little uh, plants spit out these uh, tractors and other baddies who try to take out your guys. So it's kind of a turn-based thing. You can you can put down. Let's see here. You can let's see here. So you can put down the, either defense characters or offense. Turn-based. Let's see what we can do with them. All right. You'll see just dynamic smoke. Um, the fire is truly dynamic. There's um, clouds above that cast shadows. Um, the explosions and the magic effects, really realistic. There's a lot of all these individual enemies and plants are animating uh, individually. Um, this type of thing requires a lot of processing power that only Tegra can provide.
Are you finding a lot uh, more partners uh, as uh, people are getting used to the checker, checker architecture? Yes. So there, there's two type of developers that are particularly um, find uh, Tegra 3 appealing. And one is among the thousands and thousands of mobile developers, there are some that want to kind of set themselves apart by high quality games. Sort of like if you're Toyota, you want to make a Lexus, mm -hmm. right? And, and, or whatever it may be that you want to be known for high quality gaming. There's that part of it. The other is companies that make console and PC games are now finding, oh my gosh, the processing power of these mobile devices allows me to bring my high quality, high budget experience in a way where I don't have to compromise the experience and the quality of my game, right? And so you have um, a lot of companies. Let me give you one more example. This game is called Hamilton's Great Adventure. Very uh, uh, highly regarded. It's available on Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, and this is coming to mobile. And uh, let's see here. You'll see that it's, it's kind of an Indiana Jones type adventure puzzle game. I mean, look at the quality of the, the kind of the particles and the magic. And this is available on console. The PC version is really advanced. It has DirectX 11. But you can just see the foliage and, and just the mood and the, and the lighting. It really adds the atmospheric effect. There's hundreds of puzzles to solve here. Um, so you can run this guy over. It'll uh, collapse under him, as you can see. I mean, this is really high quality stuff. And this will be out this summer. Um, it's already out for console and PC, and you know the mobile people will be able to play the exact same version of the game that they've, you know, came to know and love on the consoles and PC. So, this is an example of a, you know, high-end developer seeing that their games are, you know, can be converted without making any compromise to, you know, what their game and their brand stands for. So, you know, basically it's high-end PC and console guys moving down um, into addressing a huge installed base, and then also the uh, existing mobile developers, some of them that want to get more attention uh, by us and from the public, and from people like you guys, um, you know, to, for users that want more out of their phones and tablets, and, and that's kind of where we are. We want to facilitate great gaming experiences by delivering great processors, a great platform, and, you know, a developer relations team that really takes care and supports game developers to be the best they can be. Kita, we appreciate the time. Yeah. Uh, thanks for letting us uh, take a sneak, sneak at this and uh, sneak peek at this. this is pretty good. Awesome. I'm going to put this camera down. I'm going to play right now. All right. Thanks. <laughs> appreciate All right. it. Have a good one.